Hey everybody, show old buddy Timbo back at it again, Blue Collar Beer Review. One beer, one take. All for y'all. Eh? Yep, all for y'all. I get nothing out of this. Nothing. <laughs> all right. Hey, this is going to be a quick one today. There's lots going on in the world, in my life, and I, I, I just, you know, I, I got to get to it. That's not true. <laughs> All right. But let's get to it. I got a beer here. And I'm just throwing it out there. All right. This is No Label Brewing Company. They're out of Katy, Texas. It's kind of a suburb of Houston. Um, this is uh, Ridgeback Ale. It's got a dog on it. All right. It's supposed to be. It's a, it's a dark American amber. Uh, it's supposed to taste, uh, it's supposed to have a caramel roasted flavor to it with just the right amount of hops, uh, in there. So hopefully it's a good beer, but I gotta be honest with you. This beer has been sitting in my refrigerator for a long time because I just, I bought it not because it was a good beer. I got suckered by the dog. I'll be honest with you. You put a dog on a beer, I'm probably going to buy it. I'm, I'm that guy. And so it's been sitting in the back of my refrigerator, and I'm like, ah, man. Every time I go to review it, I review a beer that, like, I picked out because it's supposed to be a good beer. And, uh, you know, and I'm like, this beer doesn't have the chops. I, I don't want to. I, I, I got suckered into buying it. But the day has come. The dog days of summer are over. I double dog dare you to drink the beer. You know, I've been wagging my tail on this for a long time. So it's going to happen. <laughs> so let's do it. This is a baby beer, or should I call it a puppy beer? Huh? <laughs> it's 12 ounces. It's just little puppy beer. And um, alcohol by volume. 6.1%. So, ABV, it's, uh, it's not bad. It's, uh, you know, it's like a, uh, you know, playful young dog alcohol volume. Not quite matured yet. You know, ones that don't listen, they want to run, you open the door, boom, they go. They shit on the carpet still occasionally. You know, they do bad things, but hopefully this is a, I don't know. I don't know what kind of beer this is going to be. So, with all that dogginess, that doggedness, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the double dub. We're gonna do the look, listen, smell, and we're gonna we're gonna give this puppy a shake. So let's do it. Oh yeah. This is always the exciting part. Let's see the color on this. I'm thinking the way they've kind of described this, I'm thinking it's gonna have that, that it, you know, they did say dark amber, so dark amber, but maybe, I think it may even be reddish. It, it may have that, that, that tone to it, you know, that like lava, that, that lava stones type look, but we'll see. I'm probably gonna be wrong. Well, I think I'm going to be right. Let's get a little... Not a lot of head on this. I didn't really give it an aggressive pour. Come on, puppy. Who's a good beer? Let's see. Not a lot of head on it, not a life, but that could be because it sat in my fridge for months. And I, you know, so I, we can't judge it on that. The color does have that amber reddish. It's, it's got a, a, a kind of a, it's got a reddish dark hue to it. So that's, it's definitely inviting looking. And the smell on it, I mean, I immediately could, could, could smell it. It had a, a great kind of refreshing, uh, good undertone of something that, 
I was going to enjoy. <clears throat> America. Good burp, great flavor, crisp and clean. I mean, really crisp, great going down. Not a lot of, uh, it, like I said, it's kind of flat, but it made it way easier to drink. And it has that caramely type roasted flavor to it, but you can't, I guess there's a little bit of hops on the back of my mouth, back of my tongue, now that I'm sitting here, but you didn't really taste it when I was hammering it down. No, no, uh, no lace on it per se, but that could be my fault. Like I said, I've had this beer for a long time. I, I, I think I was wrong. I think I, you know, I, I just got this beer because it had a cool dog on it. And you know, I don't, I don't review beer bottles. I review beer, but this one did suck me in, and I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, no label. Brewing Company out of Katy, uh, this Ridgeback Ale, it's a pretty good beer. And, you know, I recommend it. If I think, uh, I think, yeah, if you threw a couple of these, a couple, three of these back, 6.1% alcohol, <laughs> you definitely want to go play with the dog. You get the ball out, have a good time. And what's more, what's, what's, what's more American than that? Not much. Having a few pops and then playing with the dog. Hey, I love all you people out there. I hope you're all doing good, you know? Hang and bang, drink some beer, have a good time. If we all drank more beer, we'd all be a lot more friendlier. I'll see you on the other side. Yo, buddy Jimbo, out.